I love the Stargate TV series. It is a hard sci-fi series that mixes the fantastic with the realistic in a perfect blend. The rules of the universe are self-consistent throughout the entire series, which is a great achievement for a series that plays off of mythology just as much as it does theoretical physics. The Goa Old story arc covers seasons 1 through 7, overshadowing the Replicator and Ori arcs with the sheer amount of time it takes for the Goa Old to no longer be a threat. The Goa Old are a parasitical species who inhabit the bodies of other species, mostly human, although a few were found inhabiting a creature called an Unas. Once taken over, the host is under complete control of the symbiote and act out their evil intents to gain power and to rule. According to canon, the Goa Old obtained their technology, wealth, and power through taking hosts and assuming their knowledge and resources as well as through outright stealing and scavenging whatever they could throughout the galaxy. Goa Old technology has a specific aesthetic, particularly in their ships, which take tetrahedral shapes most commonly. We don't get to see who the Goa Old take their technology from over the course of the series other than the Ancients, who we know are the originators of the Stargates and the Ring Transporters, which the Goa Old use extensively. I have a few criticisms about Stargate. One of the big ones stems from this question. Who builds the Goa Old's technology? The series details that the Goa Old themselves design their technology using their genetic memory, which can contain designs for many fantastic devices that their ancestors have learned about. But this still leaves the question of who manufactures it. Most Goa Old worlds that we see are agrarian, and are rarely, if ever, allowed to develop any industry of their own besides mining Naquita for the Goa Old. Manufacturing something like a Hatak class ship would require many types of specialized manufacturing processes to put it all together. You would need a process to refine metals, another one to manufacture the computers, and even one to create the unique decor. You would need people who understood each system of the ship to make it all work together, and they would need to oversee the people who actually do the building of it. The societies that we see depicted in Stargate under Goa Old Rule are totally unable to manufacture such things, with most of them being barely able to refine metal, let alone design a crystal-based computer system. The exception to this is the Jaffa, who are seen as living in a weird blend of technologically advanced existence and medieval existence. They are aware of the Goa Old's technology and seem to have some form of electricity in their homes, a form of television used for state propaganda, and of course advanced weapons. That being said, their society is feudal in structure and they have large gaps in their knowledge of science and medicine, instead focusing more on matters of warfare. We do see that various Goa Old have scientific specialists working for them. Both Kronos and Anubis were seen to have such individuals working for them. These individuals were Goa Old themselves in the service of their particular system lord. These individuals alone couldn't account for the scale of the number of ships they have, which seem to number in the thousands at the peak of the system lord rule. Now we do see one case where a planet of imprisoned Jaffa are building a ship under brutal working conditions, but not much detail is given to how the construction is done other than the use of anti-gravity platforms to suspend the ship in the air. They don't spare any detail on the process of putting the ship together or where the specialized materials come from. One possibility is that the Goa Old possess some form of technology that can assemble things from basic materials using a computer design, similar to how the Asgard ships enable O'Neill to build the anti-replicator gun, or Daniel to build the anti-Ori weapon in Season 10. There is no evidence in the series that the Goa Old can do this, so I don't consider this a serious possibility. This is where I inject my own headcanon. I think the Goa Uld have planets with advanced societies who manufacture things for them. We know that the Goa Uld don't like it when societies develop to an advanced state where they can rival their power, and let's not forget that they consider Earth to be primitive. Their fixation on destroying Earth seems to have more to do with Earth's use of the Stargate than with Earth's technological development, so they may allow other societies to advance beyond Earth technologically if there is a reason for it. Is it possible that there are other isolated planets in the galaxy that the Goa Uld use to manufacture things for them? Let's say that there is an advanced society out there that seems to be a few centuries ahead of Earth technologically. It's possible that their knowledge and manufacturing capacity could be diverted to Goa Old use without that society even being aware that this is occurring. How would this be possible? We know that the Goa Old Ball is able to establish himself on Earth as a wealthy businessman and control of a large technology company. I believe it's possible he was intending to use Earth's manufacturing capacity toward making technology for his own purposes. Who's to say that this idea was unique in the Stargate universe or even the first time this has occurred? There could be entire advanced planets out there who are clueless to the existence of the Goa Old or other planets, but who are being used by the Goa Old to siphon materials and technology away. Let's think back to the Tolan people. They are aware of the Goa Old in the beginning, but don't interact with them when SG-1 first meets them. A few years later, the Goa Old Tanith coerces 
them into manufacturing advanced weapons for his own purposes. He does this discreetly, without the knowledge of the Tolan people. While it is not explicitly stated in the Stargate canon, this seems to be a common Goa old plot for advanced societies, and could explain how they are able to manufacture vast fleets of ships and huge numbers of advanced weapons, all while presiding over simple agrarian slaves and worshippers. If you like this content, be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment.